Oh, it's okay. We cannot just do. So you've got the telegraphy and the apogee. The apogee is the farthest away that the moon gets from the Earth, right? Uh, when it's at the apogee, the farthest the moon is from the Earth on the opposite side of the moon is called the black moon, right? So you have a black moon, and then you have dark moon, which is about halfway through. It's just a mathematical point. And uh, supposedly the dark moon was first found in 1618, and it is a moon that was hypothesized by astronomers of the day of being a moon that absorbs light and does not reflect it. So by then, the standards were like, okay, it's like an invisible moon. But today, we can kind of like say, well, maybe it was a dark matter moon. But nonetheless, so she was fascinated with this trilogy of the, of the Lilith moon, and she decided to name herself the Lilith Black. So I'm, I'm thinking that it has to do with the feminine Lilith goddess of an interpretation into an astrological and astronomical. She was a belly dancer, so it worked, yeah. It, it helps out with that. South Californian tribes give Daytura to their 15-year-old kids going through puberty rites. They tend to have a flood of imagery of godlike things, like ghosts. They talk to their ancestors. There's no, there's a dis dissolution of ego. They have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the plant world. So when these kids take this substance at the age of 13, 15, they transform into men. This is not something to be tread lightly. They are psycho psychoactive drugs, but they're under the guise of a medicine man that has been taught by 10,000 years of plant knowledge and medicine. So it's not something you want to go do on yourself. So anyways, so in that is a metaphor for the transforming, right? Transformative character. Now we use this little line, uh, let's see here, along the, a love alas along the river run. Does anybody know what that's from? Anybody, it's the cycle of the moon, it's the cycle of the planets, it's the cycle of the hornworm becoming the, the hawk moth and so forth. Can I ask you a question? So here, what I love about That signifies for her showing herself and revealing herself through this. Now, I looked at um, a, uh, an astrological perspective, and this will tie it all together. And um, that's, that's they, they, took, they take the three, the trilogy, the asteroid Lilith, the dark moon Lilith, and the black moon Lilith, and apply a metaphor from the Hebrew text, right? And so the asteroid Lilith, over there in the belt, describes the first stage of the mythological journey from Lilith, from this paradisical, paradisical you know, area out into an exiled area. The dark moon Lilith depicts the pain that she experiences in the in the exile. And then the black moon Lilith is the trans, she like transmutes her distorted image back to its natural healthy expression. And so it's interesting that that, that whole cycle of change, and Stephanie chose the, the last of the trilogy. And so I was trying to tie that into, wow, she's gone, she's exiled from this earth. We start with the morning and we end with the owls. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. This is very, it's happy owl music. It is yeah. happy owl music. It's almost like um, a, an M.C. Escher drawing yeah, trying yeah. to like... Yeah, 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 you had the but check James Bond. So like, I check out, so yeah, exactly, after I have the James Bond. So I go back and, and research Lilith a little bit more, and the earliest, like, relief sculpture of Lilith from Mesopotamia, 1800 B.C., is a woman with owls on each side of her, and she has owl feet, and she is the, she is like the manifestation of the nocturnal owl, like goddess. That maybe has something to do with the spirit realm too, but I, I could only guess. Thank you for explaining, Jesse. Yeah, there so, be, I mean, there'll it's be a short like test. Um, ten questions. So, so Jesse, uh, <laughs> Does any of that make sense? Or so, 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 I would say is that there is an opportunity for you to explain that. I promise in more detail, but thank you for that.